A first interview, it had to be Monty Roberts, the man who listens to horses. He's an absolute legend and I'm privileged to have spent some time with him over the years. I always learn a lot and at the demo at Merriswood it was no exception. I'm really pleased I got a moment to sit down and have an interview with him. Um, I hope you enjoy it. This footage is from one of my first meetings with Monty. I remember it vividly that I couldn't remember my lefts and my rights very well and definitely couldn't walk as fast as he wanted me to but then I was two foot tall at the time. I'm delighted to sit down all this time later to have a chat with him. Hey, thank Hi. you very much for taking the time to speak oh, to me. My pleasure, <laughs> thank you. We actually met 20 years ago now when I was just you slightly were a tiny girl. smaller. How have things changed since you first came over? Well, things are, are changing really rapidly, Daisy. <clears throat> it's incredible. Uh, probably the discipline that's changing the most is polo. All oh, right. But they had a long way to change. <laughs> And they really have changed massively. And now they're breeding the thoroughbred into the Criollo horses to get a faster, more upbeat game. And they're doing it without violence. It's, it's incredible. Um, in Argentina, where most of them are broken, um, they were killing approximately 52% of all the horses they started. Wow. With horrible violence yeah but now they've discovered that they can do it without killing those thoroughbreds bred in and the game's getting better so that's that's probably number one the number two discipline is probably western really changing a lot and the dressage is changing and the world of happy hackers is even changing yeah that's such so. a huge pool of people isn't it now that it's very gratifying yeah and have people become more accepting of your methods and more open to people them, daisy people in general have become more accepting of my methods but there's a lot of work to do there's yeah. still some die-hard hanger-ons out there that you know yeah. want to use the violence but it's changing and do you think your approach has changed somewhat since you first started talking to people and spreading? Daisy, I have to be honest with you. I see the videos from 1989 when I first met the Queen, and it's hardly recognizable. Yeah. It has morphed. It has changed. I, I think I'd like to say I'm better, um, but I, I know that my students are better. Yeah. And um, I think that there's more learning in my life in the last two years than in 10 years previous to that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. And what do you think, because we first met when I was, I think, 11. I was probably your youngest student back then. Do you think more can be done for young people kind of getting into it, learning more, differently more, to start much with? More, much more can be done. But the young person is the malleable person. They want to learn. And I don't know any young people that want to be mean to a horse. No. You know, they, they, that's really changing. Um, the kids don't want to have violence. And, yeah. um, they're closer to the flight animal, just as women are. And women have taken over the horse industry. You can just make that statement flat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> when I was a child in competition, it was 28 boys and two girls and now it's yeah. 28 girls and two boys Absolutely. if you can find two boys yeah yeah it's very interesting in the pony club and younger level it's all girls now pretty yeah. much but yeah i suppose the professionals there's still a lot of yeah and what about the veterinary schools yeah. they're practically all girls now there were no girls when i was a child in no. veterinary schools wow the power of the spice girls and girl power <laughs> has taken over what is the most common problem that you kind of come across <clears throat> well, I still hold violence as the most common problem, but it is changing and there's less of it. Um, I suppose you could say violence and then you could say not getting an education. They just want a pill. They want a quick answer and then they're a horseman. And there's no quick answers to anything we do in life and a good education from responsible people is a serious goal that we need to all set. Yeah, absolutely. And do you think there's still a lot for you to do? People have all talked about, are you gonna retire? Is it time to call it quits? <laughs> you seem still full of energy. Of I am full teaching. of energy and I don't think 
it's time to call it quits till they put you in that box <laughs> and seal it down. Yeah. I, I really don't. I mean, I'm having just as much fun today as I was 20 years ago. And um, maybe even more so. I don't know, because you, you feel that desperation to get more done. And there's still a lot of work to do. So I'm not ready to hang it up. Is there one particular thing you still want to do or place you You know, that go? part, Daisy, I don't even know. Um, I bump into things that I say, wow, there's an answer to that. And then I say, why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> and, and you don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Like, for instance, I, I want horses to walk over, find the starting stalls, walk in, stand in the middle, break and give them the best chance to win the race. I want that. Yeah. There's a lot of things in life you want. Um, I want the horses to not buck and be dangerous when they're first started. Um, and I think both of those things are achievable yeah. if we get it right. Well, you've certainly made a start. Yep, we've made a start, and that's what it is. And I guess if in one man's lifetime they can make a start, um, that's about all you can ask. And um, I'd say we have a pretty good start. And your auntie was my first instructor. <laughs> and um, oh, she's toyed with retiring recently, and that makes me so angry because <laughs> she's a child to me. And, uh, and we have now 84 instructors around the world. So things are moving along in that educational area, which is very uh, gratifying to me. Yeah, well, hopefully the 10-year-olds you taught all those years will keep it going. Yeah, keep it going, yeah. Well, thank you very much personally. Quite all right. <laughs> thank you. If you enjoyed the interview, please do subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more still to come. Thanks a lot.